So I rented a bicycle from CCI, Cyclone Cycle, and it is by far my favorite bike shop in Penang, Malaysia. The service is awesome. I mean, they may not have the greatest prices, but uh, they make up for it in service. They were definitely treating me right. Now, I used to take my bike to the top of Penang Hill um, on this uh, shuttle. They um, have since replaced the old shuttle with the new shuttle. The old shuttle had a big bin up front where you could put your bike, but uh, you can no longer take your bike up, which is why CCI hooked me up with uh, Manan. Uh, this guy I met at the bottom of Penang Hill near the Botanical Garden and uh, for 10 ringgit he, um, that's like three or four US dollars, he uh, took me to the top and that was amazing. You can see there's, uh, there's bikers and hikers and all kinds of people uh, heading up and down the hill on this, uh, this very steep road. I'm at the top of uh, Penang Hill overlooking Georgetown and I'm about to ride my bike down, try to do it non-stop. Here's the bike I'll be attempting the downhill run on and uh, it is uh, rented from CCI, Cyclone Cycle, which is the best bike shop in Penang, Malaysia. Uh, they don't have the best prices but they got the best service. I'll be recording this uh, bike ride with my liquid uh, image goggles, high def, and GoPro Hero 3. Uh, the reason I'm using uh, two is in case one fails, like uh, memory fills up or something like that. All right, here we go. Okay, non-stop from here down. I've attempted this ride about five times before and failed every time because of flat tires. The first, uh, the first flat tires were from uh, the rims heating up because I had caliper brakes. Got to get my weight back. I don't want the back tire skidding. Take our time. I don't know what's better to go fast or go slow. You know, if you go fast, then you do it quickly and uh, the brakes don't overheat, but they, but they do. But if you go slow, it takes more time. I'm, I'm thinking that if you go slowly, you give the uh, caliper brakes more time to um, dissipate the heat. Now I'm doing this um, in the morning. The time right now is about uh, 8, 8.30. And I know this is boring because I'm going so slow, but um, when you're, I've got disc brakes here this time. The uh, discs brake can, can overheat and uh, they essentially stop working when they get too hot. And I've actually, I've actually experienced this um, in California. I was driving down a uh, mountain and uh, my car just using my brakes and um, they became less and less effective over time and I got to like 20% effectiveness and uh, shifted to um, a, a lower gear and that that did the trick so here's a, uh, a steep part here I'm just gonna let it go, and then we'll s 
slow it down here for the, uh, this is the only uphill. Give the time uh, the caliper brakes to recover from the heat they just built up. Now your fingers, unless you have like really awesome, awesome brakes that you barely have to touch for like maximum breakage, your fingers get tired from uh, squeezing. Uh, but luckily these levers are placed where I can use different sets of fingers as, uh, as these fingers get tired, I can, I can shift to my outer fingers. Getting some skipping here. Don't really need good gears. Ah, here's some monkeys. Now, you've got to watch out for animals when you're coming down here. It could be dogs, cats, monkeys, turtles, snakes, gila monsters. Certainly, if you were going fast, and you were to strike a large animal. You would not only injure it, but uh, you would probably have a uh, catastrophic fall. All right, I think this is the last of the uh, very short uphill, giving my brakes some time to recover because it's relentless from this point on. There are some less steep places where I can relax, but I'm gonna take this wide.